Welcome to the Nuclear Snell channel. I have a quick tip for you today. So right now I'm working on this piece right here. It's still work in progress, still a lot to do. But uh, right now I'm working on this spark plug shoulder. So tip number one for making something like this is use bicycle tire or motorcycle tire, not car tire. I will show you how exactly I mount a spark plug to this rubber piece, to this tire piece. And as you see, I can't pull it out. So let's see how I achieve this and maybe it's useful to you for your costumes. So here's the piece and I can just flip this over like this. And here you see how the spark plugs are fastened. So there is essentially a hole in the rubber and then there is this bolt going across which is held in place by this part of the actual spark plug this small metallic part I don't know what it's called it's where the spark is actually jumping at at the spark plug so let's see how this is done first of all you're gonna need a hole for that uh, my next one is going here what I do for that is cut a small hole with my scissors. Now be very careful with this. I've already cut myself, as you see here, because this rubber gives you a lot of tension and then when you slip, there is a lot of force going right into your fingers if you happen to be as clumsy as I am. So I cut a small hole like this and now what I'm gonna do is do just some incisions in an X shape. So an incision in each direction, so the hole is not as large as the spark plug's butt, or whatever you call it. So make a small incision in this direction, in this direction. Move this part here. And this direction, and in this direction. It's crucial that you don't make those incisions too large. So if you look here, it's just something like this. This allows the spark plug to slip in and be held in place by friction. Actually, those bolts on the back side, they're just security. For the most part, the spark plugs are just held by friction. And now I do this. I take this part and bend it up And now, I grip a bit higher and bend it down, preparing for the bolt to go under this. Now I apply a lot of force and some twisting to get this spark plug into the hole. And I'm twisting clockwise because that's allowing me to use the thread on the spark plug. There we go, nice and tight. It's uh, screwed in all the way. From the other side, I'm using my large screwdriver just to push this rubber up the spark plug thread a bit more. I hope you can see it on camera, but I'm basically just pushing it up a bit more. So it's, it has a bit more resistance there. And what I do now is just take a bolt, position it like this, And now I take a small hammer and uh, let me zoom in on this. There we go. And I'm gonna give this a few whacks. Watch out for your fingers. Ouch. Ouch. As I said, watch out for your fingers. All right, and that's really enough again so there it is it's not going left or right because of the thread of this bolt it's acting as a stopper and it's not falling out in any direction so in case someone yanks on this spark plug or it gets caught somewhere or whatever this will act as a security uh, hope it was useful to you and uh, have fun crafting like comment subscribe support me on patreon and I will see you soon again hail the snail